Everybody, it's Chris from Prepare Mind 101. We're going to be looking at a normal camping item today. Now, this actually came as a surprise opportunity for me because uh, I did the review on one of their other products because I wanted to I wanted to try it out. It's really hard sometimes to know if something's good or not if you've never heard of them before. And you see that a lot on Amazon. And it's, it's hit and miss with Amazon if you've never heard of them because some of the stuff might actually be really great and some of it might not be. So you kind of sometimes got to take a chance on it. So I took a chance on the first item which was that, uh, that double person inflatable camp mat. And I was very impressed with it. So they just happened to email me and they said, hey, uh, we've got multiple items you know, at the Amazon storehouse cannot be resold they were returns uh, usually and you know companies are very picky about that stuff like Amazon it's like if someone returns a product and the outer you know the outer packaging is is messed up just a little bit a lot of times you can't resell it so they're like we don't know if the products are damaged or anything like that do you want us to just can we just send them to you and then you can review any of the ones that you want I'm like hell yeah like I know how that works. I mean, there's probably absolutely nothing wrong with any of them. Uh, it's more than likely just Amazon buyer's remorse, and Amazon makes things very easy to return. Probably somebody, some you know, some guy ordered something, and the wife was home when it arrived, and you guys ass reamed. So I got the first item in, and it turned out to be, and I didn't know what any, I don't know what any of these ones are going to be. Some of them I might review, some of them I might not. But the first one that I got was this compact uh, camp chair. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is cool. Opened it up. I'm like, this is, works a lot different from the other ones that I've had. And it's pretty nice. So by doing reviews of this stuff, if you're looking for these sort of things, you kind of got an idea that, yeah, I've, I might not have never heard of this uh, brand before, but it's built pretty good. So if you want to find out more about it, don't go away. So, do not get the impression that I'm trying to say that this this chair is intended for backpacking because it's not but when I'm actually out doing test videos and stuff like that you know I load my pack up with what I need and the place that's closest to my house where I can come out here and, and film you know out of my car I only have to hike about a quarter mile and this isn't the park, this is some place new that I've got access to with my newer place. But it's not too heavy if you're not loaded up for, you know, cross-country hike. That I just uh, cinch it down with this back panel on my VanQuest uh, Mark R45. And it's no problem whatsoever. It's just nice when I come out here to actually have, you know, a decent place to sit instead of this rotten ass log which I've basically been sitting on the whole time. So this one's a lot different from some of the other smaller camp chairs that I've had. I think the last one was like a year or so ago. It was an Ozark Trail one. It was a kind of a pain in the ass to set up and the feet were so small it almost always sunk into the ground. The way this one opens up is pretty cool. It's got these cushioned you know armrests and you just pull it apart. There you go. Okay, so this is one of those ones that sits low to the ground. Uh, when I got it out the first time, I kind of inspected it, just kind of went over it with a fine tooth comb, looking at the stitching, feeling the materials, you know, the joints, the hinges, you know, looking for cracks, looking for any kind of obvious weak spots or any kind of like, I mean, you can just kind of feel when something's cheap, you know, like it, it, like it belongs in some sort of, you know, discount clearance store like Big Lots or Ollie's or something like that. And this was actually pretty nice. Now, when you look at these kind of like compact chairs and stuff like this at a place like REI, for instance, and don't I? Let's. I don't want to hear about REI stance on guns or anything like that. I just pulled that name out of a hat. Uh, 
you know, any kind of big outdoor store that's selling premium brands. Chairs like this, I've seen in excess of a hundred bucks. I've seen chairs like this that were 200 bucks. And I'm like, what kind of crack are they smoking that somebody needs a 200 freaking dollar chair? This one was, uh, I looked it up, it's about 50 bucks. That's pretty reasonable, I think, for this. Uh, especially if you're going to get a lot of use out of it. So this has become my new, or at least until I, luck of the draw brings me something different, uh, this has become my new softball chair. So when I go to my daughter's softball game, let me get in the chair here real quick. For me, this is like my new softball chair. I go to my daughter's softball games. Uh, it's a little bit easier to lug in than the big giant chair that I was carrying. I think this would be a good one for people that fish a lot. Sitting on the bank of the, of the river or sitting on the bank of the pond with this. Very comfortable. Lean back, sit up, cast your line, no problem. Obviously, sitting around camp, sitting around a campfire if you're going to be there for a couple days. Uh, very comfortable. I will have to look on the website and see like what the actual, you know, because this is something that everyone's going to ask, see what the actual weight capacity is for this chair. You know, I weigh 180 right now. So, yeah. I should probably weigh about 170 for my height, but hey, I'm getting old. The so far after a couple uses, and and when I've when I've taken it to the softball games, I've been a little unnecessarily rough on it, like just plopping down on it and just seeing if it's getting loose or if the thing's just gonna freaking snap and explode. Uh, no problems whatsoever. It's actually very comfortable. Yeah, I mean, this was kind of like a surprise. That's what's cool about this little this little deal is I have no idea what's coming. It's almost like one of those subscription boxes, and you get so excited because you never know what's going to be in the box every month. And, oh, my God, I love my box. <laughs> You've seen those videos. They're, they're freaking comical. But, yeah, it is pretty much like that. So, yeah. So far, like, I, I've used... I've only used this a handful of times, sitting in it for a couple hours, but so far with my inspection with the looking at the products, I've been pretty happy with it. And I really like the armrest and all that stuff for getting up and down as opposed to some of those those other bucket style ones that I've got. And those ones just sink into the ground. And the ground is kind of moist right now, but these have wider feet. Than those other ones that are more like, uh, I say, a bar stool style feet, and they just sink into the freaking ground. So, let's see with these, just more more surface area on the ground when it's damp. I mean, it's not too too damp, but if I had the other chair out here, I guarantee I'd be sunk in the ground, absolutely positively. All right, so if you like this chair, if this chair interests you for your survival trips, because we only do survival stuff on this channel and bug out and shit hit the fan. So if you want to get your survival bug out, shit hit the fan, tactical ninja chair, check the links in the description box below, and uh, I'll put this thing up on the Amazon store, because so far, I like it. All right, guys, something a little different. Chris from Prepare My 101, thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and frickin' subscribe because I'm this close. I'm this close to 200,000. It's like the big mile marker. And then in 10 years, maybe I'll hit 300,000. Uh, make sure you click that bell icon to get updates on new uploads. YouTube's been doing goofy stuff here lately with switching stuff around people are pissed off about it it's like the new stuff isn't coming up in their feed and and then in the recommended videos I hate this one recommended videos here's Chris Tanner's video from four years ago when he was a flat-out when his video sucked and people don't even look at the dates why are you viewing this outdated product it's like oh my god YouTube you're freaking killing me so
<laughs> All the links that help support the channel are in the description box below. Alright guys, I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.